Do you stand the correct way when you play badminton? We are going to show you the four stances you need and take you through when to use each one so you're always in the right position. What are stances? What we mean by stances is how we should be standing when our opponent hits the shuttle. There are different ways to stand based on three things. The situation in the rally, options our opponent has and what we are anticipating them to play. So watch until the end to ensure you're always ready for every shot. The first stance we're going to look at is the racket leg in front position. We want to stand like this to prepare ourselves to move forwards and backwards quickly. This position doesn't allow us to move sideways very well, so shouldn't be used when defending as it's difficult to transfer the weight in the right direction for singles and can leave areas exposed in doubles. We will have the racket leg in front for singles when we've played a good soft shot to the net, like a drop shot, net shot or a block. In all these scenarios, our opponent can only hit upwards, meaning they can't attack. So they only have the option to play a net shot or a lift. Having our feet set up like this means we can move forwards to the net quickly. Remembering this is the shot we have the least amount of time to retrieve. This will increase our ability to intercept the shuttle early. We also need to move backwards so the racket leg in front allows us to push off, turn and get the hips and body in a better position for those lifts. Getting our body behind the shot giving us more time to attack. There may be times where we need to adjust our stance mid rally where we're looking to go from defence to attack. Here we'll need to switch into this racket leg in front position when we've hit a good return. This will allow us to counter and look to attack. This stance is also very useful in doubles when you've stepped in playing a fast counter attacking shot and you're looking to press the net and counter. Again, this means we can be fast on any returns to the net but means we're prepared to move backwards even if they flick over the top. This is great for when you are anticipating a shot to the front and want to get there early. Next up is our square on position. This is used in preparation for our opponents attacking shots. So basically when we are defending. When defending, the shot we have the least amount of time for is the smash. So it's important we are prepared for this every time. In singles, this stance helps us move sideways more quickly by transferring our weight in the right direction, but also allows us to move forward to the other corners effectively as well. But remember, we have more time to return those. Ultimately, if we aren't prepared for the smash, there is a good chance our opponent can hit an outright winner. This is also a great position for when you're first learning to defend in doubles, because it allows you to defend a smash no matter where your opponent places it, and will also allow you to move forwards and backwards to defend too. We've included this in this section, but there is also a more advanced variation to this for our doubles defense. That is defending with our racket legs slightly back, but hips still facing forward. This is important to learn as our game progresses, as it gives us more space and keeps the hip out of the way when defending those more difficult smashes aimed at our racket hip area. Next up, before we look at the more advanced one to finish off is our return of serve stance. A common mistake we see here with club players is that they stand with their racket leg in front. This limits the size of the lunge when moving forward for the low serve and makes it difficult to get back in a side on position quickly for the flick serve, making it difficult for us to attack. Having our non racket leg in front allows us to step in on our racket leg and intercept the shuttle as close as possible to the net. This will give us more angles and more options on our returns. It also allows us to sidestep backwards, meaning our body is already in a good position to hit hard and attack. I'd recommend here starting with the hips slightly turned out so that it's not like we're balancing on a tightrope when we're returning that serve. I'd also have the back heel off the ground so the muscles are primed 
ready to move more explosively because we're lower to the ground. Last and final, and this one is having our non-racket leg in front. This is used more at top level and mainly in singles as well. Using this stance depends on how well you can cover the court with your footwork and how well you can spot patterns and anticipate our opponent's next shot. This is used when we are anticipating a lift to our forehand. If we can connect shots together and anticipate when that lift is coming, we can switch our feet in preparation and bring that non-racket leg in front so we are set up to move to that corner quickly. This could give us the attack and the opportunity for a big winning shot and could even win us the point outright. It can be difficult to move to our forehand rear court corner, especially when we have our non-racket leg in front for singles because we are set up looking for the net and from here can be difficult to turn and get our body in a good position to attack. So this can be a great solution if our opponent is continuously flicking us flat into our forehand corner and can help us exploit this. The only problem with having our non-racket leg in front and standing in this position is the opposite two corners are hard to move to. This is why you need to be quick, strong and have adequate footwork to cope with these gaps. It leaves us exposed not only in our forehand forecourt area but also around the head side too. This is why we also need to have excellent technique because if our opponent spots us connecting these shots together and looking for that lift of the forehand and play something else then we need to be able to play ourselves back into the rally. Hopefully that clears up how and why we stand in certain positions for badminton. If you want to improve your footwork so you can move quicker around the court then this video here will show you how to.